Uh, this is Fair to Bloodstock 2011, and I'm here with Zarif. How are we doing, man? All good, man. Excellent. All good. Now, when did you get here? Uh, yesterday. Uh, we played last night on the Sophie stage. How oh, did that go? We missed all the bands yesterday. Great. Of what I just said. Oh, I but Thanks a lot. <laughs> we in which case, I wanted to see you. Everything thought, was fantastic. We thought everyone was going to miss us, man. I thought no one came on the Thursday. I was worried. It's like we're going to play the two people. There was a lot of people, man. You know, there was, really fortunately. <laughs> yeah, we, we assumed if you turn up, turn up on Thursday, you'll be like nice and empty. There'll be like loads of car park space. But I was wrong. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Like, I think. How, how was the show? Awesome. It was amazing. Fantastic. It was like initially, it was like everything's going wrong with the sounds. Not enough channels. Everything's oh, going wow. wrong. You're on. Yeah. Oh. But then we went on. You know, we rocked it. Fucking ace. Our sound guy, man. He did everything he could to keep it going smoothly. And it was well received. Yeah. 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 Man. Absolutely. Like, everyone that came stayed till the end, which you know, a lot. We had pits and I threw the horns and everyone threw them back. Oh really? Rockstar, I just cool. feel like a rock star. Yeah, a bit, you're yeah. not the front man, Chris. So what are you doing? Are you throwing the horns? Uh, Without no, asking. <laughs> Bass, get behind the fucking screen. I'm not joking, I love it. Nice, man. Did you at least video the show? Someone did, did have it. some video going yeah. on. So, yeah, well, maybe I can sit down and see what I missed. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. cool. And you will cry and weep forever. Exactly, yeah. no, and then you I'll come to the next show. <laughs> yeah, there's always a next show, innit? Now you guys formed in what 2007, so it's yeah, three, yeah, four yeah. years ago, and you know, Fuck. so yeah, Already. time flies. That's but four years, man. for the guys that haven't checked you out yet, how would you describe I your sound like and influences? Uh, and groove metal, orchestral well, groove metal does it. I think that's everything, really. Yeah. It sounds really weird to say orchestral groove metal, but it's got a lot of orchestra and a lot of groove, so it kind it's of makes like, sense to call it like yeah. Timmy Borgir meets it's Pantera, the son of Strapping Young Lad. Yes. Well, that's what we get. Like oh, that's a that's a hell of a cross. That's good. Yeah. Well, that's what everyone says, but it's not an intentional thing. It's just kind of it's just point. what we sound like. Yeah. 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 Now, uh, in 2009, you released one, then uh, you released two. So I'm just guessing what the next le is it going to be called? We've got the, uh, three. the the three album sort of trilogy. Thing. The trilogy to be prog. Well, that prog is and weird. three. But like, we, we, we think we're going to keep the number thing going forever because everyone pushes out at like you know the album three or four and, and it gets, right we get our proper names to the albums now. Well, no, we've got the uh, the. Was it the concept of the first three albums? Oh yeah. And um, oh, number four, when it comes to number four, four it's going to be like forgotten, awakened from a dream from yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> like, so so what number would you like to end on, like uh, your X. career? Ten. X. X. Ten. That's not many if albums. We get, if we get ten albums That'll out, be perfect. That'd be good, I think. We're, I remember we're posting some news for some band lately, and I think they had twenty-six studio albums. And I thought, <laughs> fucking hell. I'm trying to remember now? who it was now. Frank Zappa cover band, wasn't it? <laughs> I, was I don't say. know. <laughs> yeah, well, he's got eighty, isn't he? Yeah. And I love them all. Eighty odd. Now, uh, two came out with, uh, a few months ago. Um, yeah. Yeah. So how, how how has it been received? You know. Great response so far. Um, we've had a lot of man. I can't believe. Not a lot of people have heard of you. Everyone needs to hear <laughs> Yeah, man, we get that a lot. This sucks. It's like, <laughs> it's like man, why have anyone heard of you? I can't I believe you're not oh, we'll make me <laughs> We're fun. trying. Tell everyone. Yeah. I mean, uh, I think in terms of like like critical response to the album, I suppose everyone's been <laughs> on board of it, you know, thinks it's cool. You know, so it's good. <laughs> And you're playing places like this, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's always a good sign, isn't it? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Well, hopefully we're going on the up and up. We've got Tour of China booked, headlining that. We've got a fair few one-offs. We've got a Damnation Fest. Damnation Fest, one with main stage. Devin Townsend yeah, we'll headlining that there. one. Yeah, we're going to be there as well. Oh, Dick Shining. Seriously, I will oh, be sucking bogs, Shining dick. So much. Shining is like the best This is ever. my opinion, Don. Where is Damnation now? Leeds. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. We went to the first one when it was in Manchester. Really? Stamping ground. It's like, really? Yeah, It's just sort of grown over the years now. Big, sort of thousand-seater place, isn't it? Definitely, man. It's calm, so yeah, things are looking up, you know, but obviously the new album is still fresh, really yeah, fresh, totally but you know. I think we've got a lot of work to do off that album still. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. we've got to move the hell out of it. We've got to make sure to tour this one really heavily because like, is it because we're really pleased with like the sort of general quality of it. Like, yeah. We can't just like keep releasing another album because it'll be forgotten sort of thing. Yeah. So we need to get out there as much as we can. First album, it was like we did a tour for like two weeks yeah. and then a few one-off gigs, mostly in Camden Underworld. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> our, our, resident, our resident venue. Yeah, hasn't, that hasn't that just been damaged? Hasn't that just been damaged? It was a rumour, I think. Oh, yeah. well, I think everything was a rumour. Rumor. Yeah. It got damaged. We played there with Ishar once. The door got kicked. Wow. A door got kicked? Oh. Oh. 
I think the, yeah, the, the uh, ballroom got damaged. The ball, could yeah. you tell if that the ballroom got damaged? It Probably not. Like a hole from outside. <laughs> Lovely venue, but from outside, man. Yeah, you've got to be forced to do a deco now, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> it can only look up, can it? So, yeah. <laughs> so where are the one-off shows from here? Uh, we've got uh, Oxford, O2 Rex, Academy, um, Leicester, Selby, Shire, the Candlefest gigs. See, Leicester, that's pretty yeah. up the road for me. So, you know. Yeah, totally. Uh, that's like... Is that, is that uh, Rage Fest? Is it at the Robin? Is it a place for no? Um, that's Bill Stain musician. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we have oh, that one in there. Oh yeah. We've got. Uh, so he, you're in a band and you don't know where you're playing. I love that. Well, I'm saying, you, man. <laughs> That's how it should be. Book yeah. him to play the notes and he will come. That's nice wicked, man. We'll definitely come out to one of the shows, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, definitely catch up. The thing is, doing this as well, you miss a lot, but you know, we, we can try and catch as much as we can. Pleasure to meet you, man.